How's it going guys, my name is Dom and today I want to talk about the node.text content property in the JavaScript document object model. So the text content property allows you to get and set the text content of a node or more commonly an element. So for example, in the body tag, let's define a new h2 element here. Let's give it an ID of, let's just say, uh, title. Right, let's now put some text inside this title or h2 element. We'll say, welcome, welcome to decode. So here we have some text content inside this h2 element. Let's now alert to the screen this right there using a JavaScript. So first, we need to get a reference to this h2 element. So we'll say a new constant uh, h2 title equals document dot get elements by ID and pass in title inside there. So this will basically just get this element and now we can mess with it. So down here we'll say alerts and then we'll type out h2 title dot text content so here we're getting the value of text content which should be this right there let's now save this go in the browser refresh and we get welcome to decode perfect now what if we want to set the value uh, of text content for this h2 title element it's quite simple. We can just say h2 title dot text content equals let's change it to something like um, mangoes and bananas. Let's use a single uh, talking mark here. Okay. So that right there simply changes this to that. Let's save this and refresh. We see mangoes and bananas. Okay, now more commonly you might have seen the inner HTML property. This is commonly used instead of text content. The difference is with inner HTML you can actually put HTML inside um, your, your value here. So let's change this up. Let's say instead h2 title dot inner html equals em and then em. So now we're outputting, sorry, we're changing the value of this element to em mangoes and bananas em. Now the em tag will make the text italic. If we save this, Go in the browser refresh we should see the text being italic just like that so in html includes the html tags as you know it actually passes it and it actually uses those tags whereas the text content property if we change this and save it we should see we actually get this entire output on the screen we'll save this refresh and we see we get the actual HTML not converted and used properly, which is probably the best thing to do in most scenarios. If you want to actually, you know, output HTML, you're better off creating the element and then appending the child and that sort of stuff. But that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.